wonder if we have a kiss with Catriel. Interesting. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, this is a new day, and uh, by my voice, I am not 100%. So, what was happening was, I was fine, then I started getting a bit sick, and through the week, I was getting better, yay, nice. Then came a cold phone and said, no, F you, smacked in the face, hard, and said, you're gonna still keep me sick. Ugh, that's so lovely. Hey Nix, how's it been? <laughs> Claws? Claws? We just trimmed those, how do you have them already? Oh boy. So come on, let's begin. Catfield Layton wanted. Oh! Chancellor Lang is buzzing. There's been a murder and Cat is a prime suspect. Okay, this is actually interesting. Baby, please settle down. There. Yeah. Lay, lay on my lap, please. No! What was the point of that, Nix? Whatever. Let's just go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna hum, guys. I'm not doing that well. Ah, uh, the start of another lovely day. Ernest, pour us some tea, would you? Yes, Miss Nix! Why? Yes, miss, you seem to be in a rather gay mood this morning. Okay, so for those that know, gay means happy. Or in a jovial mood, but... Yeah, the word changed as time passed, of course. Have you had some good news or something? Oh, you noticed? Is that obvious? I thought I was managing to hide it quite well. Like a poker player, you know you were humming. Loudly. Well, I popped into the Lucky Clover of the road yesterday, you know, the boutique, boutique owned by Miss Price. <coughs> anyway, I saw the most delightful hat, but I just couldn't decide if I should buy it or not. Life's hard, isn't it? Just so hard. She was just about to close for the day, so I had to leave, but I've been thinking about it all night. <clears throat> and in the end, you realize it was all a waste of time. In the end, I'm going. To, uh, I'm decided I'm going to splash out and buy it. So it's time for a trip to the Lucky Clover. <clears throat> uh, I was hoping there'd be more to it than that than a hat. Sure, worry about hats is not a trifling matter. It's what an English gentleman does and should do. I'm pretty sure everything you do is supposedly what an uh, English gentleman does, huh, cat? I'm very excited about it, miss. I'm sure you're going to look simply stunning in it. Thank you, Ernest. By the way, have, you, have either of you noticed there seems to be a bit, of, a bit of commotion going on outside? I can hear a lot of voices, yes. Oh, there's rather a crowd gathering. I, gathering. I say, I wonder what's going on. Those murmurs were not there before. Neeks. Mm, perhaps we should go investigate. Oh, everyone seems to be gathering outside the Lucky Clover. And I don't see any tails wagging, it looks serious. I, I can't really see. I wonder what's going on. No, Nix. I'll in back. My back. Miss Slayton, look! There is a policeman outside the shop. The police are on the scene? Some kind of visitor must have taken place then. Yes, I dare say. Gosh, let's go and ask some of the people milling around if they know anything. Um, excuse me. Sorry, lad. I run the throws here. Big news, this is. Very big news indeed. Nix, no! Ugh. If it doesn't make the front page in the morning, I'll be a monkey's, a monkey's uncle. Of course, I'm going to write the article first, but hang on. You're not from the Latent Detective Agency. Yes, that's right. Whatever is going on here, Douglas. And Miss Layton, crikey. Sorry? Have I. Hear me? It's her. Miss Layton's here. Look. 
It is her, the woman herself. Can it really be true? Open bracket. Personally, I don't believe it. Close bracket. What have you done, cat? Everyone's practically jumping out of their skins and seeing you here. I know, I have no idea what's going on. I'll just go and ask one of the police officers. I don't think that will be necessary, Ernest. Someone's coming over, look. <coughs> My voice. I don't believe I've ever seen him before, have you? Oh yeah, I remember seeing this guy as a... Uh, as one who was looking for characters to put in thumbnails. He was one of them. I think he's an old friend of Inspector Hastings. Well, Miss Catriel Layton, I believe, of the Layton Detective Agency. Yes, that's me. I don't believe we've met. Britannias is the name. Chief Inspector Britannias. I'm from Scotland Yard. Yeah. I'd say that was obvious, but eh, whatever. Oh, well, pleased to meet you, Chief Inspector. There's quite a crowd here, isn't there? What's happened? Don't speak to me, please. It's against protocol to, conver to converse with suspect. Wait, if it's against protocol, then how the hell are you supposed to get information out of them? Suspects? No, no, I'm... Catherine Layton? I'm arresting you on suspicion of preventing the course of justice and... No, you can't arrest me. Yeah, he's kind of right. You can't arrest someone for literally that. They're just literally talking to you. The pound for cats? Just a moment, please, Chief Inspector. What am I, I, am, I, what am I even accused of doing? Why are you arresting me? Police, you're a suspect of the murder of Clover Price, proprietor of the Lucky Clover. Miss Price? The Lucky Clover? Murder? Murder! Catriel Layton, wanted. You mean Miss Price has been killed? Impressive acting, love. But don't you think you're rather overplayed? I know you did it. No, you don't. You're literally just accusing people because of circumstantial evidence at best. Because, from what I understand, she was the last one there, came closing, and then she was last one the Lucky Clover and came out when, clo when closed. That literally doesn't prove anything, really. I didn't know anything about this until just now. Oh, really? Well, perhaps this little preci precise. I don't know what the word is. We'll jog some memories for you. This morning, it was reported that the proprietor of the Lucky Clover, Miss Price Clover, was lying motionless on the floor of her boutique. Police rushed to the scene, but the victim was already dead. I, I don't believe it. Poor Miss Price. We've managed to pinpoint the time of death as yesterday evening. And according to witness, you, Miss Layton, were seen entering the shop at the exact time. So, darling, what more can I tell you? Obviously, it was you. No. Obviously, she is a suspect, yes, but that doesn't actually make mean it was her. Well, I did go to the Lucky Clover yesterday, you're right. I was thinking about buying one of her hats in there. But Miss Price was perfectly fine when I left. You can carry on lying to me down to the, down at the yard. Constable, take the suspect in. Yes, sir, Chief Inspector, sir. Miss Layton, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to cover me to the station. No, Miss Layton isn't a criminal. This is madness. Ernest is right. Please hear me out. Come quietly, please, miss. Otherwise, I regret I'll have, said, I'll have to cuff you. Guys, I really are going to arrest you, miss. You know, it's kind of dumb that... Uh, hold on, I think I want to sneeze. Now it's gone. But it's kind of dumb that they are just, you know, accusing her of doing everything because... Again, she helped the police on multiple different occasions. So yes, I like, exempt her from doing a crime. But at least should, you know, give her some doubt that she wasn't the one that did it, and then probably someone's trying to, you know, frame her. Cuff me, but I'm no killer. Sorry, miss, but I've got to follow procedure in these matters. You're flogging that dog, cat. There is no, they're not going to listen. This must be the scoop of the century. They seem to type Detective Catriel late and accused of murder, and I thought nothing could surprise me. 
It looks like they're determined to pin this on me. Alright, everyone, stand aside, please. Britannius, what the dickens is going on here? Well, well, what a surprise. Not. I thought you'd be making an entrance before long, Hastings. Come on, what evidence got to put like that she did it? I expect you to protest her innocence, seeing as how she shows the majority of her cases for you. I'm not protesting anything. All I'm asking is what proof you've got that you cast the killer. Exactly. If you have nothing other than circumstantial stuff that doesn't like even prove anything. Oh, I'll get proof, Hastings. Here's as soon as I get her to the sweat. Sweet box back at the yard. No, that is not how it works. You can't bring some. Okay, technically, you can bring some to the yard of the suspect, but you can't hold them in there. We saw it with Ernest before in no, chapter before. Also, and okay, from what I understand, this guy isn't supposed to be corrupt or anything or something like that, even though he looks like it, like it. So, what is order to stop you from, I don't know, planting evidence there that the cat did it? That's not warranted, and you know it. What's with the stronger arm tactics, eh? Oh, I can't hear you. Was because I'm the charge of this investigation, not you. You might have been charged, but I'm gonna be sit back and let you go with the co course you're a suspect. Looks like there's a bit of a dogfight going among the pigs. I have a nasty feeling that if I let them Chief Inspector return and arrest me, I'll be on a way away track to jail. So I think I'm just going to make my excuses. Bye! Where are you going, darling? No trying to skip town, are we? Bother. I'll distract the miss. Run while you can. Thank you, Ernest. You're a lifesaver. For you, miss. Anytime. Sorry, Chief. In sorry, Chief Inspector. But I can't let you pass me. You? You're trying to protect her, are you? I don't think so. Sorry, I won't budge. I can't get around him, sir. <laughs> Katria Layton, stop right there. Sorry, I forgot it how. Where are you even going, Cat? No idea. Eh? Basically, as far away from here as possible. But the end of Chester Street will do for now. Come on, show. Get those legs working. So now you're in the run. Ah. Yeah, first, I know I should run top speed, but let's see if there's anything here of value. Oh, dust? Puzzle, of course. Look, sure, there's a puzzle hiding here. You should be the one hiding, from the police, remember? Oh, but I can't leave a puzzle unsolved. It's not what a gentleman does. Seriously? And run for the police is? Fine, alright. Let's give it a go. But it really should be fleeing. Fantastic. <coughs> Use these three shapes. See, use oh, sorry. Using these three shapes, uh, see if you can make four identical fan shapes. You can only move. Sorry, you can only move the squares. Select a square by pressing and holding A. Then you can drag it around and press L and R to rotate it. The fan shape is made by joining the radius of a circle with an arc to a second radius. A few inches later. Maybe like this? No. No. Here's an interesting one. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. You did it, dividing the circle into four makes yeah. How do you even manage to spot that puzzle up in their light? It's dazzling. Very kind of you to say, sure. I always aim to dazzle. I'm 100% sure that's not quite what he meant, but okay, whatever. Wait. Oh, I'm trying to hit hit coins. Nice. Another one. Nice. Uh, wait, I think I saw some. Oh, I got one here again. Nice. 
Oh, another one. Oh. Cocho con co oh, Coco Conch. Okay. And I think that's everything. What does everyone have to say? I'm curious. This is all time for a chin, chin wagon cat. If it's a Lego, the cat is on. You're right, let's move. Okay, so I don't have so I don't speak. Let's go. Where do we go now? There is no time to stop and think. This is a race and we have to stay in the lead. I know, but... I'm not used to being the one who's being chased. I'm usually the one doing the chasing. Ciao, Bella. A pleasure is to see you again. Oh, hello. I didn't mean to listen, but you're being chased by the police? Go to Lipskis. They will help you, I'm sure. Good idea. We'll head that way. Don't let them catch you. I know you're not the killer. No one who appreciates fine food as you do would commit such a crime. Um, thank you. Ciao, and be careful. Lucky that he likes you, eh, cat? Yes, all the eating here paid off. I never thought your over overactive appetite would be getting us out of trouble. Anyway, no time for yapping. Let's I tell you to the Lipsky's place. You're right, chill. I can't afford to let them catch me. They think I'm a murderer. Wait, how? How is this a clue? Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm in a hurry. Oh, I just saw a butler. What the hell? What the hell are you doing here, Booster? Ah, uh, Miss Layton. Good day. Booster? What a surprise to see you here. Indeed, ma'am. One is informed that you are a suspect of a murder inquiry, ma'am. Most troubling. Oh, well, we've heard already. News travels fast. Is that why you're here to find out the latest? No, ma'am. Miss White dispatched me on an errand to acquire provisions. Murder is an egregious charge, ma'am. One would like to express one's sympathies. One is in no doubt, for, doubt of your innocence. Thank you, sir. It's very sweet of you to say so. Oh, another puzzle. I wish you could stop and get some breakfast. It takes a lot of calories to keep these four paws running, you know. Well, I could give you a pull to make you mi to take your mind off it. How about this one? One for one pizza. What pizza preferences? Oh, okay. Wait. I don't think we ever did a. What's the name? I don't think we ever did a two of this one, did I? Hmm. Piping hot pizza has just been delivered, so it's time to get on the police pronto. <coughs> Cold. It's been pre-sliced and you just need to make sure all three different have precisely the same amount. But, there's always a but, each child has a particular ingredient that he or she doesn't like, so you can give those slices to stop if they won't eat. Okay, so no egg for you, no tomato for you, no bacon for you. So let's make it like this. I'm probably wrong, I don't really mind being wrong here, because honestly... I know, I can already tell I am wrong, cause for, just for the simple fact that, yeah, this has uh, egg slice and it doesn't want egg. So, what about this tomato here? She doesn't, she doesn't like bacon, so let's go with this. And uh, I think this is right. Hold on, let me sh really check. No, no, this is definitely not right. Uh, yeah, let me undo. I'll be back in a second while I figure this out. Hold on. A few moments later. This and this, and uh, I think like this, right? I eat puzzles like this for breakfast. They do call me 
sure Lucy comes for nothing. Nice. You did it amazing, you thought to repose some kibble a lot. Yeah. I'm not really in the mood to keep putting all this, sorry guys. Well, it was a good one, wasn't it? It was interesting, I'll give you that. But it won't make me fat. I mean, he's not wrong. What do you guys have to say? You won't believe in what's happening, Bess. The best, no, I mean the worst thing, a murder. Right here in Chester Lane. Oh no, that's so scary. Don't worry, Bess. I'm here to protect you. I'll keep you safe no matter what. Oh, Benji, my hero. Yeah, loving couple to the end. Yay. Nice. Uh, usually somewhere around here. Wait, I think I... Yeah, I heard it and I heard it here somewhere. What the? Oh. I think I got everything here. I, I literally don't remember. Oh, well, let's just go to the lips keys. Whew, well, we made it in, in this far at least. Figuratives. How did we end up in this mess? I, I hate need to flee. One's bad enough. Oh look, Alex and Hans are both here. Let's ask them if they have any good ideas for us. Perhaps they'll know how we can zip away from from here and notice. Sure, but always like for like always. Search. Oh why? Oh look, there's a puzzle inside this house of sweets. That's right, this is a perfect time for solving lengthy puzzles. When the police are hunting you on suspicion of murder. Perfect time. Well, we can ignore a puzzle, whatever the situation. I'm pretty sure you can if you, need, if you know, if you're being chased. Five houses. Uh, next, please. Houses A, B, C, and E are lined up in a row. The house E, then house E is built. <coughs> the diagram shows the five houses viewed from the side and you can see how house D in the middle of house C and D. Wait, what? No, sorry, I'm... Okay... The diagram also shows the distance between the houses. And you can see that there is over 50 meters between house C and D. How many meters are there between houses D and D? What? Okay, let me let me just see this again because I'm complete. I'm I'm lost. How's it? I'll cut back when I already start solving the puzzle. Cause yeah, okay, probably play this game when I'm sick. Not the best idea. A lot of boring math later. I think fifty, right? I've seen how to solve this now. Ah, okay. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. Yay me. Yeah, because the 20 there was wasn't making any sense. And then it said it was built after. Yeah, okay. Can I move on now? Even in a crisis, I have to find time to keep your mind sharp. Maybe there aren't yet coins here? No, there are fashion farthings. Okay. Oh. Ah, detective, I hear news. Me and Bratzi have been worried about you. You are murderer? Poor Lisa saying this. I know. That's why I have to get away. But now we're on the run. No, yes. But we know you're not killing you, you're not killing you. Thank you, you saw that the people believe in me. Yeah, because again, you have helped them before, you actually solved cases that were actually made by criminals. So people would have a little bit of, you know, disbelief that you would actually do that out of nowhere. 
We want to help you. The police are chasing her, Bratzi. What is the best way to, for, for her to escape? Hmm. Oh yes, I have an idea if we can work out. <laughs> Amazing breakout. Okay. Can you find your way through the maze to get from the starting point at the bottom left to the goal at the top right? You need to break through one section of wall. Slide a circle over the section of wall that you think needs to be destroyed. Ah, okay, so it's one of those. I'm assuming you need to come here, right? So hold on, I'll. There. I think it's. Wait, let me just check. Because you go here and then you get here. I think it needs to be this one here. Because then. Yeah. There, I think it's this one. I eat puzzles like this for breakfast. I ain't nothing but a hound dog. Why was this puzzle 40 pick rounds? It's not that difficult. You did refine your way through the maze? Yeah. No, yes, you try plan. I think police will catch you catch you this way. Press you wait. Your plan will not work. Why do you say this? You have a better idea? You're always being the smart Alex. Uh oh, they started burying their teeth before long. If the detective wants to escape from police, this is a better way. More advice about evading the law? Oh my god, why? <coughs> <coughs> the amazing breakout too. Oh, now I need to do two sections of all. Joy. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Here, okay, so obviously we need to bumble one of these here to allow us to escape. Because this is probably a dead end, so let's assume it's this one here first. Yeah, okay, that's easy. You just need to go here, and then once you get here, you need to pop this one here, which allows it to continue. There. A good puzzle is something you have to chew over. They do call me Sherlocky Combs for nothing. Wow. I get where they were going, but still too the same puzzle twice, close to the same puzzle twice in a row. I'm assuming the puzzle number three is gonna be three circles in this pool, but No I ask you solve puzzle. You see, this is a way to escape from police. Wait, Bratzi, your way is not working either. Mm. What must she do then? How does she how does she stop police from catching her? Maybe we need a completely new idea, not running away. Something else. New idea. Hmm. Ah oh, yes, I have answer. What are you thinking, Bratsy? We hide detective and dog in shop. In place police do not look. Hide us? But where? In here, what do you think? In there? Really? I don't know, cat. I don't know, a cat and a dog is such a close proximity. There's no time for arguing. In, in, in. Alright, alright, come on, Cheryl. Uh. Hello, 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 what have we here? Two likely lads. I haven't seen a certain cat related by the chance, have you? Detective from Madison down street? No, yes. No, yes. Are you taking the Michael, sir? Come on, spit it out, where is she? She came through shop and exited through the back entrance. She went out through the back. Lads, on the back, lads, after her. Good. Stupid police are gone. Detective and dog, you can come out now. I think, yep, I thought so. Phew, that was a real struggle. Sorry. Inside a giant teddy bear was too small for you, I think. I remember when I made this teddy bear cake. There is a big space inside, but not big enough. Oh, it wasn't too bad space-wise. There is a struggle not to eat any of it. It was so good. I really thought she was going to start nibbling at any moment. Alex, Hans, thank you both so much. You've really thrown the place of the scent. It was nothing. I am I'm happy my giant teddy bear cake is useful for something. I still cannot believe Clover Price was killed. It is a very sad day. 
she was a difficult woman sometimes, but I didn't. I don't think people would have a problem with her to make them kill her. No, I know what you mean. The same thought crossed my mind too. Who would have wanted to, to misprice that? No time. No time to think of it's not a detective. Police are all behind the shop. Now she's just ready to escape. Yes, you're right. Thank you again. Bye. Killed out of spite. I mean, we still don't know if it was out of spite or not, but... Eh. Okay. Now let's continue. Where to now, Killer Kitty? Cheryl, ooh. Oh well. Ah, I've got it! We head to the river! The Thames? Yeah, fish it out like this. Great idea. <coughs> oh god. No, look! There are police searching for me everywhere. If we don't use our heads, they'll find me. That's why I'm suggesting the river. If we get on a boat, we can get far away from them from here in no time. A boat? That is actually a good idea! And no, I'm impressed with myself. Come along then, to the river. Go away. I need the bike, yeah. <laughs> 